TJ back with another video talks with TJ aka TJ Two Shoes Chains and what is going on Two Shoes Crew we are back on a Friday with another book club series episode which is just a series where I go ahead and just drop a little life gem related to a book that I may have read over the past few years listen I understand a lot of people are not big into reading books it is what it is but the point of the fact is there's a lot of information that you can gather from books. So even if you haven't picked up one since you were in formal school, I guess, education, don't worry, I got you, okay? But thank you for tuning into this. If you are subscribed, uh, I appreciate you. Make sure you engage in the comment section. Um, if you are not subscribed, I have no idea how you found this particular video because trust me, they're my least watched videos but it doesn't matter if someone takes something away from it, then all the better. So still on the book. We're about to get off this book. But still in the book, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a, and I'm definitely not going to say it because one of my last videos hit the uh, yellow dollar sign instead of the green, which means some of that monetization is all back a little bit. Not that huge of a deal, but with this week, as you can see below, if it feels like it's always you versus the world, chances are it's really just you versus yourself. This isn't to say that we don't have forces or influences working against us. We all most certainly do in some aspect. But if you are always feeling like you are the person 24 seven being attacked in every single aspect of your life, it po possibly could just be your mindset of thinking that and kind of telling the victim story to yourself. A lot of us uh, will have these stories that we kind of make up and it's just the mind's way of better coping with things because we would in ourselves never want to think that we could be the problem but we very well could be the problem so one of the type of stories we will tell ourselves are victim stories or even villain stories where we make someone else out to be the villain it definitely can't be us or we are the victims and everybody else is attacking us they're the bad guys but just one thing to keep in mind, okay, especially as you become an adult, everybody really has so much else going on in their life. They're not as concerned with you as what you think they are. I think a lot of us automatically assume this person's focused on what I'm doing. This person's talking about me. This person's having this to say. And that's not to say somebody may not explicitly really be saying things about you, especially online. I think we've all been privy to that a time or two. But it's really not as much as what you think. There may be a few people here and there, but in the grand scope of life, do they really matter? I mean, 7 billion people on this planet, if a few people are talking about you, does it really matter? No, not saying it won't suck. There may be people you respect. There may be people that are just really doing you dirty in terms of how they're talking about you. But understand, most of us are so focused on ourselves, our own our own internal battles, mentally, physically, emotionally, whatever it could be, dealing with our own family, friends, work, uh, side hustles, personal goals. We're all a lot of times just focused on us. We're really not focused on you. So for you to automatically think all the time, uh, this person attacking me, this person attacking me, it's probably just you. You probably need to look at yourself and go, why is it that you think you're the only person always being attacked? Is it just the story that you're telling yourself? Because looking from an objective perspective, that's another good thing. I'll just always ask someone from a very objective perspective what they think and make sure it's somebody that usually has sound judgment and things of that nature. But they can hopefully tell you like, yeah, you're tripping. This might just be you. Those are always good people to have in your corner. But not always the world against you, okay? Not everybody is attacking you. Not everybody is your enemy. A lot of people are actually, you know, there to be a friend, <laughs> there to have your best interest in heart, and the rest just really don't care. So just kind of keep that in mind before you always start to tell yourself a victim story. It's not always the world versus you. It's probably just you versus you. Get out of your own head and go live life. That's it. Mm -hmm.